Imagine you've been invited to a dinner party. As everyone is settling in, you notice that while the seats are the perfect height for some of the guests, they are too high or too low for others. To make matters worse, some guests don't even have a seat at all. This isn't what you expected. Like the dinner party, research, regardless of the field, may not benefit everyone it is intended for in practice. The solution to this is equity, the practice of ensuring fairness and justice by considering the pre-existing imbalances. In research, equity is important in the research content, design, the findings, whom the research helps, and within the researchers themselves. How does equity apply to the dinner party? Rather than merely providing a seat at the table, equity would account for everyone's needs and preferences. This includes not only having seats appropriate for each guest, but also making sure that everyone is invited and having different options of meals based on each guest's diet. In research, equity is important for different reasons. First, it prevents unintended yet harmful consequences from occurring in everyday technology. Artificial intelligence, for instance, plays an important role in many fields, such as education, space exploration, and industry. However, it also has a history of exhibiting gender and racial biases in facial recognition and the evaluation of candidates for jobs and loans. To combat this issue in AI, researchers argue for the importance of building upon existing principles and frameworks that have equity at its forefront, such as social justice, feminism, and critical race studies. By designing, training, and refining artificial intelligence, Applications of equity can even overcome the flaws in the systems to make fairer decisions. It is also crucial that new discoveries accurately reflect the general population. For decades, the relationship between high levels of HDL cholesterol and a lower risk of heart disease has been widely accepted and used in the risk assessment for heart disease. However, this link was confirmed only among white participants. New research found that low levels of HDL cholesterol were associated with heart attacks among white, but not black adults. Finally, equity in research builds trust between the scientific community and the general public. Take COVID-19 vaccines, for example. Their development, from the initial designs to clinical trials and their usage, relied on the participation of people from different nationalities, genders, and ages. To make research more equitable, it is first important to address the biases within the field of research. While overall diversity drives innovation and is crucial in problem solving, researchers from underrepresented backgrounds disproportionately face barriers, such as failed tenure cases, burnout, and less funding compared to their white counterparts, which may ultimately lead them to leave academia. Adopting an approach of flexibility accommodations, and modifications can allow for a more representative and inclusive research community. It is also important to incorporate equity in research design and process. To prevent gender and sex disparities in biomedical research, as of 2014, the NIH required grant applications to report how their preclinical studies balance the use of both male and female cells and animals. Additionally, the Department of Energy's Office of Science, the largest federal sponsor of basic research in the physical sciences, is requiring applicants to submit a plan for promoting inclusive and equitable research alongside their research proposals starting in the fiscal year 2023. While there is still work to be done, equity is starting to change the landscape of research as equitable practices are becoming more prevalent across different areas of study. Accounting for the different populations present in our society is just one example. Currently, pulse oximeters provide a quick way to assess a patient's lung health, but are more likely to provide inaccurate oxygen measurements for those with darker skin. The field of physics is tackling this problem. New optical techniques are being developed that can accurately measure oxygen saturation levels, regardless of one's skin tone. 
In the social sciences and humanities, archival activism is another application of equity to ensure that finds are as representative of as many perspectives as possible. Rather than only collecting data from official public records or other written accounts, it considers other sources within archives, such as oral histories, works of art, photographs, and everyday objects. Anthropologists have used this approach to create a virtual journaling platform to document the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in everyday lives. Another equitable practice is collaboration between researchers and their participants. In clinical research, this may include developing partnership programs with clinical sites and allowing communities to submit proposal requests that address their specific needs. Equity needs to be considered in every aspect of research. Although there is no one-size-fits-all approach to the topic, the general consensus is questioning the status quo. With equity in mind, everyone can have their cake and eat it too. <laughs>